Hello, I'm Giles Peterson. I'm here to celebrate 40 years of the Golden Record. I've invited six different artists from six different continents to tell me how each of those continents has shaped their music to explore the music they've made. Fascinating stuff. It's the Golden Record in 2017 slash 2018, 40 years later. Now I've chosen you from Oceana, which is a continent. It is. It's a uh, Big one. Yeah, I've got napalm here. So we've we've known each other for a few years. Um, mm. Amazing success with Fighters Coyote. You just released a, an amazing solo album, um, a bold, um, brave record, incredible. And uh, really curious to find out, you know, how you discovered music, how you got into music, whether Melbourne had an impact on you. Was it a family thing? Mm. Tell us your story. Well, um, I was born in Melbourne, which is, um, you know, most. Countries around the world will have a business capital and an arts capital. And Melbourne is more of the like underground, quirky, cultural, you know, a lot of musicians and artists from around the world tend to gravi gravitate towards Melbourne. So born there, raised um, in a family of six kids. My mum was hyper creative and a contemporary choreographer. So we had a lot of um, eclectic resources as far as like music. So from a really young age, I was exposed to a lot of different music from around the world. You know, like she brought home West African music and flamenco or, you know, like um, just music that's not in the typical Western 4-4 kind of standard format. So when I initially came to write, naturally, my sense of time signatures was quite, it wasn't in the typical kind of formula. Um, so I really owe a lot of that to her and also just, you know, like having heaps of siblings and learning how to harmonise and, you know, it was, creativity was always really celebrated in my family and nurtured. Um, so yeah, I live in Melbourne and then my mother died of breast cancer when I was 11 and I was split up from my siblings and I moved to the country, which is a place called Mount Beauty. That was really m monumental in my creative um, expression because I grew up in a city but then all of a sudden I had this time to really a like process some kind of intense emotional trauma and my father died when I was 13 around the same time so but then having that space and land you know because I was a city kid so that's definitely stayed with me you know that connection to nature and animals and finding um deep inspiration there and Australia is so so biologically diverse and beautiful you know moved back to Melbourne when I was 15 didn't know anyone was homeless and there was um, a park called Edinburgh Gardens where they used to do fire dancing and this was how I met a lot of people through that just like seeing fire and, and gravitating towards it and learning it and it was like one of my first jobs was performing doing that. Yeah, but Melbourne is like, you know, there's a lot of people from everywhere. And the thing about the Melbourne music scene that I think is unique is that people mess with each other even if you play different styles of music. There's like Ethiopian jazz or there's cumbia or, you know, or like Somali and hip hop or lots of punk bands, like, you know, like Nick Cave is from Melbourne and there's that, that side of thing as well so there's this really it's like a, a mixing pot is there an australian sound is there i think so yeah um i think for the most part australiana sound is often associated with like grunge rock punk side of things the more urban contemporary stuff has i don't know if it's necess necessarily come later but there was just like a lack of support from the industry, dare I say it, you know, I feel like that's probably a racial thing. The thing about Australia is that in school you don't learn anything about Aboriginal culture. And so all of the like folk references are like uh, British colonial perspectives, you know, and um, the Aboriginal traditional music that has been around thousands of years is um, it tends to be exotified. I feel like it's just, it's underrepresented, you know, and, it, and it's so powerful. 
and a lot of people aren't ex exposed to it in Australia and internationally. When you go out of Australia, do you feel that you're bringing a piece of your continent, your city with you, or are you just a, a, a global traveller? I feel like even before I left the country, I was exposed to a lot of beauty and eclectic, you know, cultural experiences, you know, like friends that have like Ethiopian restaurants where they, you know, or like, it's a very international city. So I was already kind of exposed to a lot of different stuff, which is, you know, kind of what I carry with me, but more so, the more international I become, the more like I want to connect to roots and stuff and like work more with Aboriginal artists and and um, use my platform to shed light on things that I think are really beautiful and underrepresented. We've been talking about Australia and Melbourne lo locally. What about beyond Australia and... Beyond uh, the reef? Yeah, beyond the reef. Mm. Tell us about what there is and... There's an artist who I adore, who I feel is totally underappreciated. Um, her name is Nairi. A, she's just a powerhouse of a woman. B, um, she has this really elegant way of referencing her Papua New Guinean heritage, but she incorporates it in a really contemporary and eclectic way. You know, she's to me, she's kind of like Grace Jones of the Pacific. You know, like she's got this like unapologetic grace to her. I think for these like these artists that are unapologetically themselves and really pushing the the boundaries of of you know of like carrying their roots, but also like yeah, being at the forefront of more contemporary sounds is 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 really inspiring. It's um. You know, and, and that's the thing is like in most places where there is an oppression of imagination, you tend to find the, the best underground kind of reaction to that. So, so yeah, she is killing it. It's been brilliant chatting to you. Yeah, always. Finding out more. Congratulations on the new record. Thank, Thank you. you, Napalm. My pleasure. Ooh.